Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing nine tips how to reverse leptin resistance. So leptin resistance is something that is very common, yet a lot of people don't realize the connection of leptin resistance with what is going on with their body. So whether it is for weight loss, whether it is for autoimmunity, even fertility, these are things that I've discussed in other videos, so make sure that you check them out, as well as some of the causes of leptin resistance and how you would know that that you may have leptin resistance. So the symptoms of leptin resistance is in another video. So I want you to check out those other videos as well. Okay, so let's get right to it. The nine tips, how to reverse leptin resistance. Make sure you stay tuned right until tip number nine, which is my favorite and something that you haven't heard before in terms of fixing this scenario. Okay, so tip number one is to use some herbal medicine. So what's exciting is that there's some recent evidence and studies done on some of my favorite herbal medicines to help with not not only regulating blood glucose levels, but to help with leptin resistance as well. So if we take a look at this study on the African wild mango seed, so this is known as Irvingia gabonensis, and it's something that's commonly used in some African cuisine. And in this study shows that there was a significant reduction in body weight and also helped to improve the metabolic parameters in overweight humans. And this was a gold standard double blind placebo control investigation. So not only did it help with decreasing waist circumference, so that belly fat, but also cholesterol and LDL cholesterol, as well as glucose levels. Now, in another study, they found that the African wild mango seed actually helped with the remission of metabolic syndrome in 58.3% of the patients and also significantly decreased the WC. The WC is the waist circumference. So that's a huge statement to be able to make. It also helped with insulin sensitivities and triglyceride levels. And we know that triglycerides are definitely one of the things that leptin actually helps to burn up triglycerides. So when we don't have that proper leptin signaling and our leptin isn't being utilized by the body appropriately, then we may have some high triglycerides and that's not what we want. Another one of my favorite herbs is called white mulberry. So we can see in this study that the white mulberry helped to have that positive impact on visceral fat, which is really promising, and that's the fat around the organs, as well as the insulin resistance and helped with the gene expression of leptin. So that again, really important to know that yes, herbal medicines can help with our leptin and our leptin signaling. Another herbal medicine my favorite is called Gymnema. So Gymnema Sylvester, and in this study actually showed to significantly suppress leptin as well as insulin and helped with body weight regulation and our lipid profiles as well. So that again, in terms of metabolic disorder and helping with losing that weight because of the leptin resistance, that herb was specific in doing this. So I've got a great link, so we'll put that in the description below as to a great source to get your hands on these herbal medicines without the fillers and without the flow agents, nothing that you shouldn't be ingesting in your supplements. Okay, tip number two for reversing leptin resistance is to increase specific nutrients. So one of them is DHA, so docosahexaenoic acid, which is from fish and fish oil. Uh, seafood is a great source for your DHA as well as magnesium. We have to you, you know, make sure that you're getting enough magnesium every day to help with your leptin signaling, as well as zinc and also iodine. So these are some of the most important cofactors for your leptin and for running your internal batteries in your cells and your mitochondria. So really important for fixing the leptin resistance. Okay, tip number three is to fix your environment. You want to do your absolute best to get out into nature, to reconnect with the earth. So earthing, or grounding is something that you should regularly be practicing every single day. You've got to get connected with the electrons from the earth. Also getting out in the sunshine is very important. We know that our regular exposure to the sun and it's not just the UVA and UVB rays that are important for our vitamin D production, which we know is great for immunity, but 
helps with our leptin signaling and our circadian rhythms as well. But also those other wavelengths, so the infrared, the near infrared from the sun and the blue light in the morning helping to turn on our body, turn off our melatonin from our restful sleep the night before is really important for our circadian rhythms but for our leptin signaling as well. Tip number four on how to reverse leptin resistance is to decrease our stress. So I want you to refer to another video that I have. It's called how to trigger the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve has a lot to do with our sympathetic and parasympathetic part of our autonomic nervous system and getting control of the vagus nerve is really important. So with a specific breathing exercise which I shared in that video you can really learn how to entrain your vagus nerve to be able to have you know better responses to stress. Now we can never get rid of the stress but having those appropriate responses that isn't going to offset our leptin resistance and our high cortisol levels this is something really an important tip and often I find that people with the leptin resistance also often have very high stress levels in their lives and getting control of this is really important and this is why I love meditation so also listen to my other binaural beats videos in which you put on your headphones you listen to the very relaxing music at different and very specific frequencies of Hertz to able to be allow your body to relax fully and get into that parasympathetic part of your nervous system. Tip number five is to fix your leaky gut. So we know that leaky gut syndrome and dysbiosis and an unhealthy microbiome is definitely related to the leptin resistance as well. So you can refer to my other videos on fixing the leaky gut and all the tips on how to do that appropriately and in an easy but effective way as well. Tip number six is to make good sleep a number one priority in your life. I can't tell you how important it is that you get into that restful night's sleep. Most of our leptin is secreted at 12 midnight. So our circadian biology is really important in terms of fixing this leptin resistance as well as getting that restful and regenerative night's sleep when we have a good night's sleep. This is important for actually detoxifying our brain and allowing our organs to detoxify and going into autophagy which is our body's cleanup system. So that's really important. This doesn't happen unless you have a good deep night's sleep. So really important that you get your sleep in order. Tip number seven is to change your eating habits. So there's certain foods and food groups that can really, you know, not be so favorable in terms of your leptin levels and can set you up for the leptin resistance. So you definitely want to decrease your sugar and your grain intake. Most people probably shouldn't be eating grains, especially when they're fixing their leptin resistance, especially at the beginning. Also processed foods and inflammatory fats. You want to definitely ensure that you are eating a high protein breakfast. This will help to keep you full in the morning, but also goes a long way at helping your leptin levels and that leptin signaling. And make sure that you stop eating at least three hours before bedtime. This is really important for fixing that leptin resistance because you won't secrete your leptin properly and get that proper signaling if your body's dealing with digestion when it's supposed to be secreting your melatonin and your leptin levels when you're sleeping. Tip number eight is to use cold therapy. So one of the things that I like to do is to use ice packs on my body, on my torso. So whether it's in the front, I put them in the front, I sort of tuck them into my, my uh, yoga pants. So I'll do it all on the front of my abdomen. And a little trick is to put it right on your spine at the mid part of your lower back. And this will cool your body very quickly. This is an acupuncture point that regulates your body temperature. So put that it's not, I'm just not pleasant. I didn't say it's pleasant, but especially the first few times that you do that, but use those ice packs around your body. Another thing that I shared in another video is doing the ice face dunk, which not only helps your vagus nerve, which I just mentioned in tip number four, but to relax your nervous system, but also is really great in terms of cooling down your body and helping with your leptin signaling as well. So check out that video on how to do the ice face dunk. And tip number nine is to make sure you're connecting in with the mind-body connection. And this is maybe something that you've not heard of before. You know that I always, you know, correlate what's happening with the mind and the body in terms of healing. And in terms of leptin resistance, we have to think of the three-legged stool. So we have mind, we have body, and we have spirit. And as much as I've talked a lot about the body aspect and a little bit about the mind and our stress as it's related to our leptin resistance, but you 
also, you know, have to think about the spiritual aspects of feeling whole, feeling well, feeling connected to the earth, feeling connected to nature. I think so many of us have become so disconnected and we do, do, do every day and we get things done, but we've come completely disconnected with what's really important in life and that spiritual connection to you know being connected we're all connected to one another helping one another out you know that's the, one of the reasons that I do these videos is to help to give you the information that can really impact your life in a natural way in a healthy way so that you can get healthier maybe it is to lose the weight maybe it is to fix the autoimmune disorders um, and as it's related to your leptin resistance so I those were my nine tips on how to reverse your leptin resistance. I hope that you've learned something new. I want to hear from you in the comments below and be sure to share this video with those that you know will benefit from this information, which I think is a lot of people because a lot of people are suffering with leptin resistance and they don't even know it. Please give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of the positive feedback that you share with me. And also if you're new here, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you always get my newest and latest uploads. And make sure you turn on those post notifications by clicking that that bell and click all notifications so you always get my newest and latest uploads which happens every single day of the week and remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally thanks for watching today